Hello friends, welcome to ElectroPixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification. Welcome friends. This is a 32-inch Samsung Smart LED TV. In this TV the complaint is picture freezing issues. Here you can see this is the fault as we discussed earlier these types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting and gate signals inside the glass panel. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel if both sides of panel gate signals are short then it's difficult to repair. Here this panel comes with a full HDAUO panel. Here the panel picture freezing complaint is mainly because of VGH. VGL shorting inside glass panel in both LC1 and LC2 test points. See friends however we can solve this panel complaint using a temporary solution. It just only a temporary fixing method. Permanent solution is panel replacement. See friends here you can see, this is the Tekken board. It's a full HDAUO panel as used in this TV. This is the panel model number T320HVNO5. See friends since it's an AUO panel we can repair it by removing the VGH, VGL shorting. Here you can see in this AUO panel for repairing this fault here we implementing level shifter IC modification method. Here we can see two test points named as LC1 and LC2 they are also called as VGH odd and VGH even respectively. In these both test points the VGH voltage and VGL voltage will appear simultaneously as a pulsing voltage. If the VGH voltage in LC1 then VGL voltage will be in LC2. If VGL voltage in LC1 then VGH will be in LC2. So here this double image is mainly because of shorting in LC1 and LC2 track. Here actually the shorting is with the VGH, VGL voltages in LC1 and LC2. See friends this is the level shifter IC and here you can see the LC1 and LC2 tracks are written on the panel scalar board. So first thing before starting repair we need to cut down the LC1 and LC2 tracks from the level shifter IC. We need to block the LC1 and LC2 signal voltages entering to the panel through this scalar board. For that first we need to remove resistors from the LC1 and LC2 tracks from, for preventing the voltages entering to the panel through level shifter IC. Here you can notice one thing that the display is correct for a second then again goes to double image, then again picture will correct like this simultaneously display showing good image and double image. This symptoms indicates a VGH, VGL shorting between LC1 and LC2. If both sides of the panel is short then it's not repairable. Now as a first step of repair let's cut down LC1 and LC2 tracks from the level shifter IC. See friends finally here you can see from the level shifter IC here we cut down the LC1 and LC2 tracks with the help of removing these resistors. By doing this modification the voltages from LC1 and LC2 will not enter into the panel through the scalar board. Now in this condition we need to try bypassing VGH voltage to LC1. If picture is ok then do nothing. If picture is not ok then bypass VGH voltage to LC2 like earlier. If picture is ok then do nothing, otherwise it's not repairable. See here we are bypassing the VGH voltage to LC1. Remember that this is just only temporary solution and the permanent solution is panel replacement dot and we can't predict how long the display will work using this method. It completely depends on user luck basis. So let's start the bypass process with the help of a jumper wire. Finally 
here you can see red wires represents VGH voltage also after this modification the display becomes blank screen it indicates a shorting in gate signals we found that the problem is with the left side gate signals so here we blocked left side gate signal tracks using taping method. So here VGH voltage is bypassed to LC1. See friends now let's us turn on the TV and check the picture. Now TV is powered on. So let's check the display see now the display is crystal clear and the double image is solved successfully. So here panel repairing is completed. Now the VGH, VGL shorting inside the glass panel removed. Here in this panel actually the VGL voltage in LC1 is short with VGH voltage in LC2. So that's it hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topic. If you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thank you for watching.